going crazy. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your uncle's denying you food. Um, I can try to get you something. No, 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 no. It's not worth the risk. Well, maybe we'll eat soon enough. It worked. You got inside the communications room? <laughs> that and... More. My mom, your grandmother, Jordan and Curtis know we're on the boat. And Laura was familiar with this boat and the communications room. She talked me through so that I could find the heading on the radar screen. Is there anything that my grandmother can't do? I just hope I gave them enough so that they can find us. So why did you take the walkie? To monitor the guards' movement. So now we just have to sit tight and wait to be rescued. Yeah, I just hope that they can find us in time. What? What do you mean? Trina, while you were gone, I found out a few things myself. I always knew that my Uncle Victor was a very powerful man with all kinds of connections, and I knew that he could be ruthless, but that man is more dangerous than I ever could have imagined. He has this plan, one that could endanger billions of lives, and if we don't stop him before we make landfall, it will be too late for all of us. Uncle wants to reduce the global population. Yes. My uncle has made this his life's mission. Like some maniacal zealot. He only intends to clear out half of the world's population. Cassidines are exempt, of course. At least those that he can convince to come over to the dark side. And I wonder if maybe my dad found out about this and then my uncle did something with it. Well, we can't say that for sure, Spencer. But we do know that your uncle is insane. No one can engineer the future of humanity. Do you want to be the one to tell him that? We can't reach wherever we're headed. This, this might be my only chance. I, I know where the engine room Trina, is. Trina, no, you've taken too many risks already. But what if our families don't find us in time to stop Victor? I can, I can buy us some time so that they can catch up to us. Trina, no, I know that you're smart and I know that you're brave, but you need to be careful. Please promise me that you're not going to take any unnecessary risks because I don't know what I'm going to do. Please, promise me. I won't. I want to come back to you. This is about more than you and me now. We have no choice. We have to do something. It's up to us. Engine room, assistance needed on deck. Copy that. There's trouble with the engine. Also, there's trouble. The electrical cable that supplies power to the propulsion motors is badly damaged. Damaged? Yeah. The engineer says if he can't fix it, he may have to call for an emergency tow vessel. But you tell the engineer. He better damn well fix it or I'll scuttle this ship with him on board. Okay. When exactly was the electrical cable damaged? The engineer was alerted by a computing warning 15 minutes ago. Everything was fine this morning. And you enlisted the engine room guard to join the search for the missing walkie. was searching, but he says the room wasn't left unattended longer than 10 minutes. Uh, that's plenty of time. Sir? Why don't you listen carefully? Follow these instructions to the letter. I decided to let you eat after all. What made you change your mind? Well, you no longer have reason to pull off those diversionary stunts of yours. I hold all the cards. I don't know what you're talking about. No? Ah, I see our dinner guest has arrived. On the next General Hospital. You have to remember, Trina's life depends on it. I promise you that she never sees him again. He may have saved us. The longer he stays silent, the worse it looks. I knew you'd rise to the challenge. But he's finally choosing to put his family ahead of you.